Center City in Philadelphia. This is Fox 29 News at 6. Around 2,000 milligrams a day. That's Health Works. I'm Dina Santafonte. Well, are you sick of it yet? All the snow we're talking now. If you are, trust me, you're not alone. I haven't seen it as bad for since the 60s. This is the third worst blizzard in Chicago's history. Snow, snow, and more snow. States all over the country have been dealing with the snow, storms, and blizzards all winter long. Here at home, we've had more than 37 inches this winter so far, and we're likely to see a lot more before spring. We'll see, so snow again, but I hope it's not like this. Some people try to make the best of all this wicked winter weather, but for others, dreary days equal sad ones. I think it's a bit much for anybody. I'm a bit exhausted myself. It's called snow fatigue, and a lot of people have it. Okay, so what can we do to get rid of it? The snowy weather blues. Caroline Miller is an expert in positive psychology. Thanks for joining us tonight. Oh, thanks for having me. Great topic. Ah, first of all, how do you know the difference when you're just plain sick of the snow or when you're really becoming depressed over it? Well, there is a difference. I think with snow fatigue, what you have is just a situation that you're sick of. And it's not, you know, pervading every part of your life all the time. So this is really a situation and you have to apply a lot of voluntary shifts to your behavior and your thinking in order to get through this. And that, that is what I learned right there in Philadelphia at the University of Pennsylvania and their Applied Positive Psychology Master's Program. So there really are happiness experts who can help you talk about this and, and learn how to deal with it. I guess I'm one of them. Okay, so a lot of people really like seeing the snow fall. They find it peaceful and clean. So when does it turn to sad and dingy and for whom? Well, you know, we're, we're coming right now, it's about a week after the most depressing week of the year, and I think one of the things, it's not just that we're sick of it and it's lost its novelty, it's just enough already. And the brain loves novelty, there's nothing new about this anymore. The first snowfall, the first few hours, really is beautiful. But we need to change things up, and our brain does love that, so I think we're sick of it. But the most depressing week of the year is not just, you know, there's not a lot of sunlight and it's gray and, you know, it's cold for the most part in most parts of the country, but credit card statements just arrived, reflecting all of our terrific spending habits over the holidays. And most people have broken their New Year's resolutions by now. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a triple whammy. This is a hard time of year anyway. So but snow let's fatigue get, is making it worse. So let's get to what we can do. We have no control over the weather. So what can we do to cheer ourselves up? Number one, you say exercise. Exercise, silver bullet. I mean, the research is in. It really does change your, your brain chemistry. You feel better, you get out. Um, and if you exercise with other people, you have the added benefit of socializing, which has been found to be a real proven mood booster. And then you talk about looking forward to something, plan something that you can really look right. forward to. What do you mean? Well, happy people have what's called a savoring personality. They're nostalgic about the past. They savor the present. They're always, you know, enjoying what's going on around them. They find something to be cheerful about. But then they also have a calendar where they're always looking forward to something that's coming up that they know they'll enjoy. So that's an easy intervention. Put something or several things on your calendar that you know you're going to have a great time. You know, uh, go see one of your good friends who makes you laugh. But something like that. Put it on the calendar. Anticipate good things. And then I wish we had more time, but one of the, my favorites is stay away from complainers. Caroline Miller, thank oh you so gosh. much for joining us tonight. Thank you. All right. Good night. Absolutely.